Balancing the Scales is not a get-fit-quick guide, but a faith-based guide for life. To understand the connection between fitness and faith, one must understand that there is no complete fitness without real faith. I have been a top personal trainer for over three decades, and even I was unable to achieve my top fitness physically until I started on my journey to become spiritually fit. You may not be a personal trainer or in the fitness industry, but perhaps you will see some aspects of your own life in my story. My childhood years were fairly normal. My parents took me to church almost every Sunday, but I had never really heard the plan of salvation until I was 18 years old. I remember being at church summer camp and my youth pastor, Paul Fossmark, he was singing, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Jesus I surrender, I surrender all. I remember how hard it was for me to sing that song because I knew in my heart I hadn't given my all to Jesus. You see, I had not made Jesus my personal Savior. In fact, there had never been a time in my life that I'd lived for God until that day. It was then that I accepted Jesus as my Savior and started to live for Him. Even after that commitment, I found myself falling away from God after a few years and was constantly backsliding. It seemed that no matter how much I tried, I could never keep a consistent walk with God. I wanted to in my heart, but my flesh was weak. Jesus said, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41. That was me trying to live for God through my own power. I was constantly struggling because I still had not surrendered my all. Like so many people who have tried diet after diet only to fail, I was running to this pastor and that pastor and from church to church. I had no victory. I spent many nights crying for the peace of God. But there was no peace. As I look back at those early years of my Christian life, it is evident that I never really crucified my flesh. I did everything else except rein in my fleshy desires. I meant well, but that is not good enough. Jesus wants our all, our mind, our body, and our spirit. It wasn't until November 2003 that I made a true commitment to the things of God. It was then that I received deliverance from my fleshy ways. I made a permanent decision to give it all to Jesus, and in return, Jesus gave me His all. Jesus is so real to me that when I speak to people about my transformation, the tears automatically just flow down my face. His peace is so real for me now. But that peace did not come to me until I made a decision to surrender my all. If you are tired of bouncing from diet to diet, from prayer line to prayer line, you will have to give it all to Jesus in every area of your life. If that means eating less, then you will have to eat less. If it means changing your diet, then you will have to change it. Get resolute and ask Jesus to help you make the changes that you desire. If you are reading this book, then you have some areas in your life that you need to completely turn over to Jesus. If you do this, then Jesus will help you get what He has promised to you, life, and that abundantly. John 10.10 You have a right to be in good shape, to have more energy, and to feel good. Don't let the devil steal what is rightly yours. I pray that you will not live another day as a defeated Christian, either in the physical or spiritual areas of your life. Jesus is there knocking. I pray you let him in. To book Ron Henderson for your next event, call 612-386-8178 or send an email to ron at fitnessking.com. That's ron at fitnessking.com.